Hello, today we are going to see the types of Keridon services, its importance, its advantages, and its disadvantages. To say a brief about Keridon service, Keridon service is simply defined as a small ornamental movable table or trolley from which food may be carved, flated, flamed, or prepared for service and served. It carries sufficient equipments for service. It is fitted with a gas burner on the top and a small gas cylinder at the bottom. So let me explain about Geridon service. Geridon service is otherwise known as trolley service. So this is a fully equipped trolley, which has the needed equipments, the needed cutlery, crockery, and a range. In Geridon service, 50% of the food is being served in the kitchen and the rest 50 is served in, and prepared in front of the guest. This is a 50-50 preparation, 50% inside the kitchen and 50% in front of the guest. Most of the Geridon services, meat is cooked, veggies are cooked, small types of food are being prepared like tossed vegetables, banana flambe, these types of food, like small, small desserts, small, small main courses are being prepared in Geridon service. A small brief history of Geridon service. Geridon service or Geridon trolley is basically originated from Russia in the 18th century. However, the popularity gained from Monte Carlo, situated between Italy and France, and ruled by Monaco monarchy. Monte Carlo is a place in between Italy and France. At the time of the ruling by king of Monaco monarchy in the year 19, 1984, the, the first claimed flambe dishes was crepe Suzette, which was invented by Henry Carpenter when working as a commie at Café de Paris. Crepe is nothing but pancake, rice pancake. To make it more precise, pancake means dosa. It's a English dosa. That is like that's why it's called crepe. Crepe is pancake. Crepe Suzette, which which was invented by a carpenter who was working as a commie chef. His name is Henry Carpenter. So. Gueridon trolley is nothing but a type of service which we had earlier studied in the types of services. Gueridon trolley is nothing but a and otherwise known as the trolley service where the 50% of the food which is, will be prepared in front of the guests by highly trained professional waiters. These people are specially trained just for this type of services and this uh, type of service is not available anywhere in india other than this russia european countries italy france and these uh, services will be wholly available in specialized or a very fine dined restaurant the meal is served by the waiter from the trolley or the side table in other words it is the final preparation of product cooked or prepared in front of the guest. As I said, 50% will be prepared inside the kitchen and the rest 50% will be prepared in front of the guest. That which means the final preparation of product cooked or prepared in the front of the guest. It is the most advanced form of food service and demands dexterity and skill on the part of the waiter who is in turn must have a good organizational ability. Again, as I mentioned, specially trained waiters will be allowed to do this type of service. According to the ability, the capability to face the guest, do the preparation in front of the guest. These people are trained very well to satisfy the customers. He or she has to carry out such procedures as filling, carving, flambing, and cooking specialty at the table. This, this is nothing but preparing the food on the guest table. 
this is equally to that. Special equipment and utensils are required on the trolley for ease of operation. There are special equipment such as the meat fork to hold the meat and cut it. You can't use a hand to hold the meat and then cut it with your knife. These are a special training. Hold with your fork and cut the meat. So these types of equipments are used. But this, uh, these equipments are totally different from the kitchen equipment. So if you have a big knife, chopper knife in the kitchen, this will be a minimum size, a smaller version of it. Types of trolley. Pastry trolley usually consists of three tires, the top being covered by glass or fiber. First and second tire displays dessert and pastries and the bottom tire is used for storage of crockery and cutlets. Tires means the three shelves. The first two shelves is basically only for display of pastries. The way you present and move, uh, go around with the trolley, the guest's eye appeals towards the trolley and he has been tempted to order the same. And the last tire, that is the last chef, is the storage of cutleries and crockery. So when the guest orders it, the waiter just takes the cut crockery, places the pastry, and is being served on the right side of the guest as it has been pre plated. Pre-plated uh, dishes should be served from the right-hand side of the guest. This is the different types of trolley. The first one is the pastry trolley. Second one is the flambe trolley. It is glamorous and produces the most showmanship. It consists of a cupboard for sorting a gas cylinder, foods, liquors, and the top with cooking equipment for flambe on copper pans, gas cylinders are usually hidden. Gas cylinder doesn't mean that it's uh, those big uh, commercial cylinders. It is nothing but a small tin gas cylinder, which is portable. So as it's mentioned in the first point reserve, it is glamorous and produces the most showmanship. You can show off with your uh, techniques and with your skills while doing the, these, this service. The flambe service is, flambe is nothing but during the flambe service, copper pans are being used so that the flambe, flambe which means the flame which comes out while pouring the liquor onto the dish gives an eye appealing to the guest when it is being, when you look at it. So how much ever skills you have, you can just show it off in front of the guest so that the other people are tempted to avail this service. In this, in this uh, consists of few cupboards for storage of, of cylinders, foods, and raw, uh, raw materials and cooking equipments. But the uh, cylinder, the gas from which the range works, will be hidden from the eye contact of the guest. Odo trolley. Odo trolley, this is similar to a desert trolley except for the top of its first series and this is by holding small rectangular dishes, which is from, from a varieties of Odo. And the trolley may be equipped with crushed ice container. Odo is an otherwise known as appetizer or starter. So this kind of has only a single shelf, which is used only for display. So displaying the with the uh, appetizers and starters is only in the first shift and beneath it is the ice crusher which is used most of the uh, dishes like prawns lobsters oysters needs ice when it's being served to the guest when it is being just simply placed it gets rotten very fast so ice act as a freshener for these kinds of food carving trolley this trolley is most elaborate of all. Elaborate means a widespread of all. It is usually silver plated with a long dome like cover. Dome like cover is nothing but a semi circle shape. It will be like a semi circle shaped cover, which you can just lift it and see. But this will be transparent so that the guest can have a look what is there inside the dome. The cover slides under the trolley with and is used to hold the 
cow of meat. Cow of meat is nothing but the different cuts of meat. There are two deep recesses to hold the gravy and sauce. The bottom shelf accommodates plates and sir and for service. So in this, there are three tires. Three tires, as I repeat, I repeat, three tires means three shelves. These uh, shelves, the topmost consists of the calves of meat, means the different cuts of meat. Beneath that, we have the gravy and the sauces which goes along with the meat, uh, meat which is to be served. And the last one contains the plate for service wine trolley so these are the different types of wine trolley pictures so the wine so red wine should be kept in a slanted position that is because if there is any residue or any sediment that holds on to one side so it will be while serving to the guests the wine remains transparent and this is the the other two is a liquor trolley the first one is the wine trolley the second and the third is the liquor trolley. These are two different types of trolley. One, the second one, in which the glasses are stored hanging upside down. That is, uh, actually, that is the proper one. And the third, next one is a bit different version of it. Special equipment for Geridon. What are the special equipments used by the professional? during the Geridon service. Let's have a look at it. A very sharp knife for carving, a carving fork for holding the meat, a clean carving bowl, flambe pan. Flambe pan is nothing but the copper pan. Suzette pan, that is also same as the copper pan. Hot plates. Hot plates is to nothing but the hot plate which uh, on which the food is being placed to the customer so the plate gives the heat produces the heat actually the plate produces the heat towards the food flare lamps flare lamps is nothing but the gas lamp to light the range dishes suitable for get it on services so if you avail the get it on service the other dishes which are go along with the food pro provided with the get it on services are Grapefruit with port, gazpacho soup, spaghetti neapolitan, steak tartar, veal parasol, crepe suzette, florida tenderloin. All these are the dishes which goes along with the Garidon service dishes. If you want to know a detailed uh, uh, recipe about these food, you can just go through the link which I'll be providing at the end of this session. Qualities of service personnel. What are the qualities? What are the skills? What, how he should do the service? How he can impress the guest while doing the service? Well-groomed. As you know, as a hotelier, all of us should be well-groomed. Let it be a male or female grooming is the first appearance which is going to the guest before we do our services to make to make a, a more clear the uh, personnel who is doing the service should be in proper grooming and he should look neat and tidy so that when the guest sees him he should think wow this person will do his best and impress me pleasing personality this is the most important thing which is required not only for an FMB staff, it is even required for uh, all the hoteliers. How you please the guest makes him comfortable. You gain his services and you gain his attention. Confident in subject matter. Subject matter is nothing but when you give a menu to the guest. For example, let's say Tangari Kebab. Most of us don't know what is Tangari Kaba. So when the guest asks, what is Tangari Kaba? So we can, I say it. So Tangari Kaba is nothing but the leg, leg piece or the drumstick. 
piece of chicken which is marinated with the whole indian spices with curd overnight and cooked in the in the roasting charcoal in the on the heat range of 480 degrees celsius so he gets a brief idea of what tangri kebab is so i am aware of the dish that means confident in subject matter how you explain about the dish to the guest matters how he gets the attention of the food and he will wish to try it out knowledge of the menu that is also as same as the sub confident about subject matter every single dish being served in that day should uh, be in the knowledge of the guest of the of the waiter the waiter must know each and every thing in the menu let it be a glass of juice also he should know his menu a smart waiter is a person who knows his menu and who knows his restaurant and his customer that is the sign of a proper waiter or an fnb staff fully skilled in the art of gridon service gridon service is full of flambe how you toss things how you cook in front of the guests how you please the guests with your cooking skill so the person who is doing this the service or who is serving the guests with the gridon service should be fully pleasing and skillful with his techniques efficient efficiency is more important as you said his communication skills should be very good the way he communicates with the guest through his skills or through his uh, word pulls the uh, the customer to have in the service salesmanship so let me uh, make one more thing clear to under grid on service efficiency communication skill salesmanship and showmanship these four categories are the most crucial points when in this type of service because uh, how efficient you are and how you communicate with the guest gives more sales to the to the the service and to the firm so how you show off all your skills also brings sales to the service so there must be a guest he would like to try the for, for the first time a grid on service he avails his service first time when he is uh, when you have done your service when you have shown off your skills you can prompt or you can convince the guest so would you like to have one uh, one more plate would you like to replenish the same course shall i repeat your course if you have done your very good skill uh, skill show you get the sales if you do a very good show off you get the sales so the advantages of gridon service what are the benefits what are the advantages when you have a gridon in, in gridon service it gives the guest the greatest possible personal attention it makes the guest feel that he is receiving a royal treatment it commands higher process than other form of services enable the establishment to charge a higher price staff can show off their skills and provide showmanship as a form of entertainment so the these are the advantages of having a, a doing a gridon on service the guest gets personal attention because the food is being prepared in front of the guest the guest through the service he gets a feeling that he is getting a royal treatment from the hotel or from the restaurant staffs it commands higher process from other form of service the process of service is totally different in the guest guided on service so that which makes the guest get a royal feel and to get a higher sales this price is higher if you avail the service staffs show of the skill to provide showmanship as a form of entertainment this also entertains other guests so when one guest gets uh, the service by seeing his showmanship the other guests may will also get entertained and they would also like to 
get uh, or the avail this uh, service. So the advantages of having a Gerdon service or doing a Gerdon service to a guest is like a very big treat, uh, very big service or a specialized or a personalized service which a guest is getting. Coming to the disadvantages, this is the last point. The need to purchase expensive equipment and utensils. Need skillful and more staff. Needs more room space and reduce seating area. A slow and time consuming service. Can't be dangerous and come clumsy for other guests. So if a restaurant is having this service, or a grade on service, the equipment, the requirement for the service, the raw material, the trolley, the equipment, the fork knife, the fork and knife, the meat holder knife, all these are expensive. So the cost effectiveness is being reduced. There is no reduce of cost. Needs of skillful and more staff. It is very difficult to get staff with the skills. And there are very minimum number of people who are more skillful will carry on service. Need more room space and reduce seating area. A big room. Now let's say we have a restaurant of 100 tables. But if the grid on service is in it, we'll have only a table space of 60 because grid on service, the trolley consumes the rest of the spaces. Slow and time consuming. When it is a show of time, you need to do a lot of skillful shows to keep the customer in hand. So that's why it's now a time consuming service. Can be dangerous also. Yes, it is a dangerous because we are doing while doing flamby even it is there are chances that the flame can just prick up uh, the linen of the table also so that's why it is also meant to be dangerous so let's again come from the uh, beginning the brief history the gerdon trolley was originated from russia in the 18th century it was founded by henry carpenter a commie chef who used to work in cafe de paris this there is a meal served in the guest and the waiter trolley on the side, which is equal to a table service. In other words, the final preparation of the product is cooked or prepared in front of the guest. It is the most advanced form of food service which demand dexterity and good organizational skills to organizational skills. And he or she has to carry such procedures of filling, carving, climbing. The person who does this types of service uh, should be very skillful so again a revision of types of trolley pastry trolley which has consists of three tires the first two tires uh, tires consist of the desserts uh, desserts or pastry which is to be displayed which is to be displayed and the uh, large uh, tire consists of the cutlery crockery in which the uh, pastry is being served Lambert trolley is a glamorous and uh, glamorous and produce the most showmanship to show off your skills in this the there is a lot of storage space which has a this trolley consists of a uh, of a, this trolley consists of a range and a hidden space for to keep the gas cylinders and other equipments of the flambe odo trolley odo trolley is nothing but the uh, is odo is nothing but appetizer or starter on this which has a as a space to store the crush ties. This trolley is also a type of trolley like the pastry trolley. Craving uh, carving trolley, the trolley is more elaborate of all. It has a wide range which has a doom shaped lip in which the different cuts of meat is being placed on it. Is being placed uh, on it underneath which has storage of its gravy and, and a sauce which goes along with the uh, meat and to a deep uh, freezer uh, to have the cutlery and crockery. Coming up with the wine trolley, as I said, the first one is the wine proper wine trolley, and the rest two is a is the liquor trolley. It's a, a liquor trolley. So as for service to keep the wine slanted, 
in a appropriate position to keep all the sediments to one side the wine trolley is being shaped in a house shaped special equipment for the gridon service a very sharp knife for craving a craving fork to hold the meat while cutting the meat with a knife a clean craving bowl to cut and keep the meat aside as a display to the guests to show the tenderness of the meat flambe pan and suze pan which is also otherwise known as the copper pan hot plates and flare lamps flare lamps is nothing but to light the range and the trolley dishes suitable for which goes along with the gridon service dishes grapefruit with port gazpacho soup spaghetti napolitan steak tartar veal parsol crepe suzette and florida tendralio qualities of food service personnel the person should be uh, well groomed pleasing personality he should have a good showmanship he should have a salesmanship his efficiency his he should have a good communication skill he should have good knowledge about the menu and the subject matter and he should be 100% confident about his gridon service skill also the advantages of gridon services is the guest gets a royal very good royal treatment he gets this per guest gets a personal attention it is a higher price which gives a very good profit margin to the restaurant the staff can show off his skills and provide the whole showmanship to the guest and enable an establishment to charge a higher price it commands higher process than other from this of the service it makes the guest feel that he is receiving royal treatment it gives the guest the greatest possible personal attention these are the advantages which these one side the advantages are very good because a profit margin through this uh, type of service is very good for the firm or for the restaurant to get uh, a good salesmanship through the gridon service personnel show uh, showman and the other disadvantage with this is it is very difficult to get a skillful person to do this type of service the equipments used for this service is very expensive this takes up a lot of room space as i said if you have a restaurant with 100 table capacity and when this service is implemented they be it will be reduced to 60 table capacity this is a slow consuming or a time time consuming service as the show is going on as the shows of the skill that lot of time is taken to prepare the uh, food and on the other side this also forms as a dangerous as and a clumsy a method of cooking and this might cause even a danger to the guest or to the other guests around it i hope this gridon service uh, topic was very informative and helpful in learning and understanding for you people thank you